Hey, look at this. Bagwell, I'm not afraid of you. Jesus Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Abraham's blessing is mine. Anybody who curses me is cursed by God. You'd be like all the others I faced. They boasted too. It didn't help them all. Well, I'm boasting in the Lord. When you fight me, you're up against him too. That's right. <laughs> you might be surprised how I take you. Now I'm giving you 10 minutes to get out of town. stand up those outlaws, Elmer. Do you think they'll leave? I don't know, Lefty. But I'm redeemed from the curse. Abraham's blessing is mine. Christ, we ain't leaving. and redeemed from the curse of the law. I thought I told you to get out of town in 10 minutes. Your time is up. You gonna take us all by yourself? I've got help. Don't be a hero, deputy. I'm after the marshal and the others that killed my brothers. I helped the marshal bring down your brothers. Mister, it's gonna be a pleasure. Roswell! Nicknames. One of them went off down here at the schoolhouse. You go after him, I'm going after old Brasswell. Remember now, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Nobody gets hurt.
It's, it's Lucian Braswell. You shot Lucian Braswell. The, the curse is broken. You broke the Braswell curse. Figurethorn, I want you to quit talking about the Braswell curse. Now, if you want to put something in your paper, it's going to bless people. Why don't you talk about the blessing of Abraham? Not this. Marshall, you'd have been proud of him. He faced those outlaws with nothing but raw courage. <laughs> I had the blessing of Abraham, Lefty. Well, Elmer, I am proud of you. You might be interested in this. Well, looks like I'm gonna have enough money to buy 10 new hats. That's a reward money for bringing down Brasswell. Uh, Marshall, just where exactly is that scripture located? You know, the one about being redeemed from the curse of the law? It's right here in Galatians 3, 13 and 14. You gonna put this in the paper, are you, Pickett Lord? Uh, maybe, we'll see. In certain religions of the world, one individual is able to place a curse on other people that he may not like. And sometimes those curses do work. They have great power, and it's because the Bible tells us there are demons and evil spirits in the world who work with these people in their religions to bring harm to others. In the Bible, the Scripture says in the book of Genesis chapter 12 and verse 3, I will bless him who blesses you, and I will curse him who curses you. Now, those are the words of God as he spoke to Abraham. God said, anybody who curses you or tries to put an evil spell on you will not be able to succeed. God said, I will curse them. And we are the children of Abraham because we have Jesus Christ in our hearts. That means that promise in Genesis 12, 3 still holds true for us. God said, I will bless him who blesses you. I will curse him who curses you. So I want you to see that we have power over the power of the devil. 1 John 4, 4 says it like this, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That's why Marshall Gunner didn't have to be afraid of a witch's curse, and neither do you, because you have Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, in your heart. And the force of light, the force of the Holy Spirit in you and with you is greater than all the forces of demons round about. Romans 8, 31 says it like this, if God be for us, who can be against us? And so there's no need for you to live in fear. If you've got Jesus Christ in your heart, you have a greater power than anything that can come against you. Don't be afraid. Now, I want to make sure that you've got Jesus in your heart. And if you've never invited him to come into your heart to become your Lord and Savior, you can do that. Right now, I'd like for you, if you would, to bow your head and close your eyes and pray this prayer with me and believe it with all your heart. Dear Father God, I believe that you sent Jesus to die on the cross. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I ask Jesus to come into my heart. I confess that Jesus Christ is my Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayer, for saving me. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer in a minute, greater is he that is in you than all the power of darkness that is in the world. Thank you for purchasing this episode of The Cimarron Trail. If you'd like more information about other products from Willie George Ministries, please contact your local bookstore or call Willie George Ministries toll-free at 1-800-888-7856. Again, that's Willie George Ministries, one 800 888-7856.